It's brought new life to an industry you might describe as moribund, an online casket company, complete with a sense of humor. With Luke Burbank, we pay our respects. This is one of my favorite pictures of my dad. Christo Ayub was the kind of person who believed his treasures were stored in heaven. His main concern was to just bring light to people that were not aware of God. But that also meant, according to his daughter, Carol Safair, that here on Earth, in Orange, California, finances were tight when it came time for Christo's funeral. So she turned to the place many people do to try to find a deal. Did anybody in your family initially think that you had lost your mind when you said, um, I found a yeah. casket on the internet yeah. and it's more affordable? Yeah. Did they think, oh, wait, Carol's losing it? Yeah, a little bit. Facing mounting costs, Carol learned she didn't have to buy the casket from the funeral home. Yeah. Did you even know that was an option? No, I asked because the price was so, you know, outrageous. You can only save in so many areas, so you just have to cut corners where you can. And her search for savings led her to Josh and Liz Siegel's company, Titan Caskets. And there are two large casket manufacturers that control 85% of production, and they only sell to funeral homes. And when a family walks into a funeral home, they're often not shopping around. They don't know what things should cost. So those dynamics over time have meant that there's massive markups on caskets. I have a casket company. Yeah, but it's sitting in your dining room. The so seagulls are looking to, the casket, as they say, disrupt the casket industry. The casket and they want to see all the different features and they love the red color. By changing how people buy them and the what they pay. The average American funeral costs about $10,000. The average casket more than 2000 Titan caskets average around 1000 we see ourselves more as providing a service and education for people who contact us. We want everybody ultimately to feel like they have had a choice. Do you have to buy a casket from a funeral home? The answer is no. There's and that choice law. is largely due to an obscure Federal Trade Commission ruling from 1984 called the Funeral Rule, which says basically that funeral homes must provide customers with a list of prices for their services and allow them to buy a casket from wherever they choose, including, these days, from Amazon. Well, this right here is our Copper Orion Series casket. When you look Where Titan co-founder Scott Ginsberg got his start. As technology has changed, you know, this industry hasn't changed in over 100 years. Why not? But is the real difference you're just not marking these up as much? That's correct. We're not marking them up, and we still have a great company, and we're not you know, take advantage of the consumer. We're asked all the time how strong a Titan casket box is. Let me show you. I can sit on it. I can even lay on it. I'm Titan says they now I sell thousands of caskets a year, direct to consumers. But even with that success, they may be trying to grow in an industry that, pardon the pun, is dying. Cremation right now is the dominant method of disposing of a dead human body in the United States. Almost. 60% of people are cremated, and not all those people need a casket. Caitlin Doty is a mortician and writer who says Americans should really reconsider the funeral. And so when you take away the embalming and you take away the casket, it's kind of like, what is the role of the funeral director? She says the sooner we get comfortable talking about death and dying, the better the decisions we'll be able to make. I absolutely think what Titan is doing to offer lower prices is important because everybody should be able to make really informed choices. So this is um, my mom and my dad. And Carol Sphere would agree. She says an informed choice and a little internet clicking helped her honor her beloved dad. It is really the only <laughs> casket that suited him, so I believe he would be happy with that.